last week in Manchester, we saw the horrors of 22 deaths and countless injured. The majority of young people, children. We stand here today to commemorate them, to stand as one. I'd also like you to think of the emergency services, of the police, the fire service, and most of all the NHS is why we're here. I wish I wasn't stood here now saying this, but God bless every single one of them and every single one of you. This is the place where the NHS matters. This is the place at our hospital gates. We stand every week, a difference to make. This is the place the community matters, all coming together with placards and banners. This is the place we have bonded together, come hell or high water, whatever the weather. This is the place we love with our hearts. This is the place the ambulances pass through, where the sick and the injured are cared for and treasured by doctors and nurses and all of its staff. This is the place we will never let go. This is the place that is desperately needed. Our a &E we surely must save. Our NHS can't be taken away from everyday folks with no means to pay. This is the place where it firstly began, at Chorley and South Ribble, the A&E ban. This is the place where the powers that be didn't reckon on us, roaring like lions and making a fuss. The community of Chorley coming together to say enough is enough. I think what this campaign shows is that if you mobilise the people in the right way, you know, you can build a movement going forward of protest. We're not going to stand for this type of thing where our public service is just decimated uh, in the interest of privatisation, in the interest of big business. And I think it's important that trade unionists stand with all the local members of the community and say, we've had enough of this now. We're not going to stand there while you decimate the societies we live in. And regardless of the outcome of the general election, these type of campaigns will continue. There's no easy ride now for the people in power. Conservative government will see the end of our NHS. Please, please vote Labour on the 8th of June to protect our NHS and to get our really reinstated. To vote Tory will give new impetus to what we call the sustainability and transformation plans. What it will mean is we'll have CCGs, clinical commissioning groups, sitting round deciding where they will cut our essential NHS where they will cut essential medication. The clinical commissioning groups can now sell off to any private provider or any qualified provider, it's the same thing. Any private provider can now bid and tender on a contract. That's the reason why we're not getting the 24-hour a &E, because they can't afford to open it. Why? Because they're not getting the funding. The funding is going to private companies. The man running the whole show is Simon Stevens. Well, Simon Stevens is ex-vice president of strategy at United Health, the largest private healthcare company in America. 
Look at the plans he's rolling out or he intends rolling out. Accountable care organisations. What we'll have is a, a budget that integrates all the GPs, the hospitals, they come together, the private companies, and they have a complete budget. There won't be enough money going into the NHS. Those services that the NHS can no longer provide will be provided by the likes of Virgin Care. I'm no public speaker, and I'm not normally a political animal. But I feel very strongly about what's happening to our NHS. I had a mother who had ill health all her life and she sadly died, but she wouldn't have lived to 78 years old without the NHS. Uh, and I do feel very strongly the NHS has been the jewel in our crown and it's been the envy of the world and it needs to stay that way. Because I fear that if it becomes privatised and people have to pay for their, their medicine and for their health care, then people will not go to the GP, they will not go to hospitals, they will not be able to afford it and then early diagnosis for all sorts of illnesses will not be, not be picked up early enough. In 2014, the OECD had a look at, at all the major modern countries, 14 countries, and it found that the NHS was the fairest, most cost effective, most cost efficient healthcare service in the world. It was created for people, not profit. For patients, not stakeholders. This is the third time that Hands Off HRI campaign have crossed the Pennines to come and support you, to come and support your campaign, to come and support your hospital. I understand that Seema Kennedy, who represents <coughs> South Ribble, has never once shown up to support your campaign or your hospital. And yet, Lindsay Hoyle, who represents Labour for Chorley, has turned up time and again to show his support for your local hospital and for the NHS. So the choice is very clear. Seema Kennedy represents a party which has no interest in a publicly delivered, publicly owned NHS. She has no interest in your hospital. And Lindsay Hoyle represents a party which has maximum interest in a publicly delivered, publicly owned NHS and he has maximum interest in your hospital. One fight! Yeah.